What's up guys? So on the last video of this little motor, I installed a tack slash hour meter. <clears throat> and I was suspecting that I would need to change the prop on this because it wasn't turning enough RPMs. So one of the good things about this little tack here, we can go to the RPMs, then hold it. And it'll tell you what your maximum RPM was, which was 5100. Mercury says your wide open throttle RPM on this should be 58 to 6. So, I got this prop. It is a 7.8 by 7. 7 is the pitch. The factory Mercury prop is a 7.8 by 8. I was hoping to go down to a 6, but I could not find one at this time. I don't think this is going to get us in that RPM range, but it should get us close. And on top of that, I did trim the engine up one more notch. I'm going to get this on the tripod and then we'll do the install. Okay, we're going to take this cotter pin out. I'm going to try to save it because it's a nice stainless steel one. Can't save it, no big deal. Let's get another one eventually. It's looking like this is gonna be stubborn, so. There it is. It's a 17 millimeter nut. Nut. Take this off. Have a washer. The prop should slide right off. This is the factory mercury. Place one that feels a little bit heavier. I'll put a little bit of anti-seize on the prop shaft here. Oh, way, in a few years, if I ever have to take this off, it won't be stuck on there. I'll put a little on the threads too. Starting to rain here. Slide the new prop on. Get your washer. Castle nut. And you take your. You undo the nut the first time. Take note how tight it is. It's not on there real tight. It's just snugged up. And then enough to. get your uh, cotter key in there there's a hole through the nut uh, through the shaft here and you have to line up the castle nut there with the hole so you can slide your cotter key back in I am not gonna reuse this one I'm gonna get a new one so you just slide this right back in bend one side and that's it you're done Okay, I found a cotter pin. I had to cut it a little, though, a little shorter. Just using needle nose to get it down in there. 
grab one side, bend, ow, bend it up like that. Mess up the paint on a new prop, business as usual. Bend this a little more so I don't think it's cut on it. All right, there you go. Now the install's done. Take this out in the water and see what kind of speeds we get. All right, guys, we're out here with the prop change. We're up to about eight, popping out. Oh, we only got about a mile an hour difference out of the prop. I really want to go down one more side so I can find it. When we get back, we'll see what we're, uh, we'll check the tack to see what our top RPM was. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Let's see what we got for RPM. Forty-nine seventy-seven. Ah, that's weird. We actually lost RPM, but gained almost roughly a mile per hour. That's odd. So we went down. pitch 7.8 by 7 it was a 7.8 by 8 lost a little rpm but gained a little bit of speed i don't think this prop is right i don't think it's i don't think it was made right the only thing i think is we gained the speed from me going up a notch on the trim here. This is interesting. Not sure what the next step would be. Maybe I think this prop is garbage. Maybe I'll try a different brand. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a seven pitch, but I don't think it is. Maybe we'll go down to a I'll try to find a six somewhere. And get a, a brand that I recognize. I don't even know where this thing came from. It's got off of Amazon. Really hoping to hit 10 miles an hour in this boat. We're up to eight. Maybe even go up another notch on the trim here. No, I'm expecting a lot of a six horsepower motor, but I think we can get there. Yeah, I don't know. Any ideas on the next step, go ahead and comment, let me know.